Pulse Point started with me hearing a siren in the distance and that siren grew louder as that, that ambulance grew closer. I then saw it and it ended up pulling up right in front of the restaurant where I was eating. I was a fire chief in that town. It was a crew that, you know, worked for me. And that's when I learned that somebody right next door on the other side of the wall uh, was unconscious and had suffered cardiac arrest. But that whole time that that crew was traveling to the scene, I could have grabbed an AED out of my car, could have made a difference in the outcome if I just would have known um, that there was somebody so close in, in such need. As a fire chief, you know, we were trying to solve the problems around cardiac arrest. You know, cardiac arrest uh, is just one of those medical conditions that has an extremely uh, short amount of time where you can make a difference. That's why we train our citizens in CPR. That's why we place AEDs in public spaces because we need the community to help because we just cannot arrive fast enough. This sort of showed a gap where you could be very close to someone in need and just not be aware of it. So the idea for Pulse Point was maybe we could alert people who were CPR trained, who were nearby and tell them that CPR was needed and that they would assist. So they didn't have to witness the arrest. They just had to be in the area and we would increase the chances that we would get CPR started. We would get it started earlier. So the fire department where I was the chief had the 911 center. And you know we knew that we would know where the cardiac arrest was but could we remotely determine, you know, those people who were trained in CPR, could we remotely determine their locations in a timely fashion? Could we bring all these pieces together? And we had great success in that first year. So to see that early on, uh, just sort of like convinced us that, you know, that this could work. My name is Jay Schultz. I'm one of the lead developers for Android and the web for our PulsePoint applications. The main feature of the PulsePoint Respond app is to register if you know CPR. Uh, and so once you've done that registration through our application, uh, we tie in with the 911 systems uh, such that when a call comes in for 911 saying there's a CPR needed, uh, it pings our service. Our service looks through our database of all of our users that might be nearby, uh, notifies them, uh, basically saying there's someone nearby that could, that could use your assistance, could you go help them? The PulsePoint AED app uh, allows, um, I, I kind of like to think of it of geocaching, uh, but we're trying to find AEDs that are already out in the world and out in the wild um, for people to, to take a picture of that, tag it, get some description on it, to basically form a, a, a global uh, registry of all of these individual AEDs. Uh, and why that's important is because AEDs are critical um, for helping to save lives during a CPR needed incident. Um, and so our hope is to build up a, a big database of uh, all of those individual ADs that are again already out in the wild, just don't know exactly where they are, um, to have those so when the CPR needed incident happens, we can say, hey, on the way to that person to get them help, um, there's an AD along the way. We trust the platform to provide us with the information that we can provide to our users. Um, again, whether that's, that's place data of saying, here's the information um, associated with this AD is AD is here, and here are the office hours, so it's open or it's closed and you can't get in, so don't, don't try. Um, we trust the platform to provide us the information and accuracy so then we can provide our users with the, the best experience. One of the most crucial uh, things that we use with, with Google Platform is, is the mapping locations um, and, and the map uh, functionality of whether it's just creating pins of the incidents themselves. So when an incident happens, letting our users know exactly where it happens on the map, that long, and it shows them um, so they can see from a visual standpoint. Uh, as well as uh, place data. Uh, place data, I think, helping us identify if it's a public or private location uh, is, is crucial, uh, as well as um, getting more data that's valuable data than just a picture uh, to the AD registry is, is, is very crucial. Um, being able to say, this is a business, this business, here's their hours, um, so they know if it's open or closed. Uh, those are probably the two most used uh, things that we have in, in the mobile applications. The Google Maps platform has uh, really just deepened over time. Our integration with that, that team and that platform has just gotten better and better over time. Uh, we use more and more functionality. We're trying to uptake the latest uh, as fast as possible. My name is Parker Ledoux and I'm a software engineer at PulsePoint. As we were getting more and more data from just emergencies for the, the different agencies that we were in that our impact could go significantly further. And we could not only crowdsource more 
medical emergency tools like AEDs and bleeding control kits and um, drug overdose tools like Narcan. Then as the product evolved and we started adding more and more features to the application, it was amazing how the Google Maps platform specifically had all the features that we were looking for. It's kind of crazy as a developer that we'd be looking at the API and we'd be trying to consider a new feature. So Routes plays an extremely crucial role in the most important times that people use Pulsepoint. And the reason why routes are so important is because when you get an alert that there's a cardiac arrest near you, you probably aren't too familiar with the area or know the best way to get there and know the current traffic conditions between you and where that incident is. And in an event of a cardiac arrest, time is so important. The Dynamic Maps platform is used the most by far just because it powers all of our different views from mobile to web. The majority of our users are the mobile application users, but we also have a pretty significant product line on the web, which are more around the agency administrators. So that way they're able to manage the different AEDs in their uh, jurisdiction, see which ones have expired, which ones have low battery, which ones have you know Narcan associated with them or a bleeding control kit, just all these different tools. So that way they can have a good comprehensive view of the coverage. So like we map all of those things out. We map historical trends and incident data, trying to find where you know, car accidents happen the most to kind of figure out if certain areas are more prone than others. You know, just delivering as much insight to the agency as possible. And all of that happens via geolocation and the mapping platform that we use with Dynamic Maps. This upcoming year, my focus specifically is on empowering the agencies to maximize the data that they have at hand. But we're really at a point where it's gotten too wide and it's time to bring it all together under one roof. So we're building something called Pulse Point Central, which is a central place for agencies to view all of their data and all their insights and tie all of those different pieces together under a single sign-on. And then we have a, a few projects coming up that are really focused around mutual aid, increasing the adoption of um, AEDs and the ability to rapidly uh, dispatch both first responders and CPR certified citizens to different cardiac events. The Google Maps platform is crucial to our development and what we do in, in our applications. It's critical such that the applications need to know location-based, uh, whether that's individual places, whether it's just directions. There's multiple different areas uh, that we use Google Maps platform uh, to basically help uh, increase the user experience with our applications and our users. So to really to have a product that is so widely used and, and, and popular and to have a team that can take these ideas and make them real and then to sort of get immediate feedback from it. Um, that loop is so important and so satisfying. And to, and to really see people being saved by your product and really having an impact on people that you'll never meet, it's, it's just so rewarding. You know, when somebody's life is saved and they go on to be able to do things that they were not gonna be able to do, it's pretty meaningful.